Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'll be offering my recommendation for Linux distributions with the best out of the box support for both AMD and NVIDIA hardware. So, for this video, I'm going to be taking it from the perspective of a new user of Linux. This is someone that's always used Windows and maybe trying Linux for the first time. So, as a result, they're going to be used to GUI interfaces. Obviously, sticking them in front of a command line is not really a great first impression. So on that basis, I'm going to be choosing two distributions that feature fully fleshed out GUI interfaces and that allows the end user to install software, update drivers, as well as kernels. In other words, the end user does not even need to touch the terminal once. The first thing we're going to just quickly discuss is the driver situation on Linux. So like Windows, hardware bought from AMD and Nvidia does require the end user to install a supported driver. But how this is actually achieved does slightly differ depending on the manufacturer. For example, NVIDIA hardware requires you to install the latest proprietary driver if you want the maximum performance and functionality. Now luckily this process is nearly the same on Linux as it is on Windows, in that you download the driver, install it, and then reboot to finish the installation. However, the way that it differs is that you actually install the driver from a distribution repository instead of off NVIDIA's website. This is recommended as it ensures that when you update your system, in particular the Linux kernel, then your driver will still be compatible. And this is something that's made possible by DKMS or Dynamic Kernel Module Support. In other words, if you decide to install the driver straight from the website, then you will have to manually build it every time there's an update to the Linux kernel. AMD on the other hand, especially with new hardware, is largely dependent on what Linux kernel you've currently got installed. But unlike NVIDIA, AMD hardware has a choice of up to four different drivers that you can use. But for the sake of simplicity for this video, we're only going to be referencing the two ones that are relevant, and it's the two used for gaming. And that is the GPU kernel level driver and the user space or MESA driver. In other words, to have the best performance of AMD and hardware on Linux, you need to install the latest Linux kernel as well as the latest versions of the MESA drivers. So naturally this would lead you to using a rolling release distribution such as Arch or Manjaro, whereas if you're using Nvidia hardware, you're not really restricted to any distribution. I'll also just make a point that unlike Nvidia, AMD hardware has, does not have day one driver support, so often it is possible that an AMD GPU can take up to six months before it's fully considered supported. So taking everything into consideration so far, if you've got AMD hardware, then what would be the recommended distribution to look at? Well, my first recommendation would be Pop! OS. To my knowledge, it is the only Linux distribution that ships with the most recent NVIDIA driver in the ISO file, which is also installed as part of the overall installation process. Furthermore, any driver updates in the future are passed through as normal updates. So assuming that you keep your system up to date, which is something you should do anyway, you will always have the latest drivers installed. In addition, Pop! OS also has built-in support for switchable graphics in laptops. And this is a device in which you have a dedicated NVIDIA GPU for gaming, as well as a CPU graphics for lighter tasks that consume less power. Now you can enable this functionality through a simple toggle from the power settings on the menu bar, and you'll find that just below the power plans. For installing software, Pop! OS uses the Pop Shop, which will allow you to search and install gaming related software such as Steam or Lutris. Although additional software such as Mango HUD, Govalet, VK Basalt and a Feral Game Mode can be installed from the Pop! OS repository using tools such as Synaptic. The Pop! OS does not give you an option to install a newer kernel, but for NVIDIA hardware, this is not really required. On a related note, the Pop! Shop also has support for Flatpak, meaning that you can install Flatpak exclusive software such as Green with Envy. In summary, Pop! OS is recommended for desktops and laptops alike, all using NVIDIA hardware as it has support for switchable graphics for the latter, the Pop Shop is a decent software store, and any updates to the NVIDIA driver will be provided as part of the update cycle. So on the flip side, what would be the recommended distribution for AMD hardware? As I mentioned previously, the immediate choice would be something like Arch, but that would be far too overwhelming for new users of Linux. So my recommendation would be Manjaro, which is Arch based, so that allows you to get access to the latest versions of drivers, kernels, and software once they're available for Manjaro. And much like Pop! OS, there is a new Manjaro ISO released every couple of weeks. 
So what this really means is that when you install Manjaro, you're automatically installing the latest versions of the kernel and the Mesa drivers as standard. So Manjaro uses Patmac as its graphical software store, and this allows you the option to install anything available in the Manjaro repositories, the Arch user repository or AUR, as well as installing snaps and flat packs. In other words, it means you can install anything from Steam, Lutris, Feral Game Mode, Mango Hood, VK Basalt, Govelay, and Green of Envy all throughout a single application. Manjaro also includes kernel management, and it's funny enough, it's an application called Kernel. And unsurprisingly, this allows you to install and remove kernels from your system. I should also point out that Manjaro includes a software tool called Hardware Configuration. This is a GUI tool that allows you to install the latest NVIDIA drivers onto your system. In summary, Manjaro allows an end user of AMD hardware to benefit from a rolling release distribution without having to touch the terminal once. So when it comes to Linux, there's no real restrictions on what distributions can be used for gaming. And assuming that you've installed the latest drivers and any related software, then you will probably find that performance is going to be consistent across the board. But of course a new user will not have this knowledge or experience yet. So by choosing Pop! OS for NVIDIA hardware and Manjaro for AMD hardware, it should at least have a first good impression. Thanks for watching guys, and if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.